Previously on Police Cops. I said I'm a cop. What did you just call yourself? Take a deep breath, Hardigan, and think about how we got in this mess in the first place. Oh, please. So my informant bet it. Big deal. Bet that never gets old. What's that? Getting recognized. Hard Squad, starring John Faraday. Yeah, well, you'd be surprised. <laughs> Chief wants you guys back at the station ASAP. Uh, newsflash, assheads. We got a crime scene to secure. That's okay. it. Oh. Damn it, Faraday. What have you done? Can we just go now? Don't mess up my seats back there. Aquarius. Hey, scumbag. Watching Hard Squad. Now, you're definitely copying my look. Well, I don't think anyone will get us confused. I'm still a few hundred pounds lighter. Will you, uh, you record that shit to lull you to sleep? No, I record you to lull me to sleep. This is a live feed from the Baltimore Police two-way radio system. You mean anybody can tune in and listen in on the freaking iPhones? Uh, yeah. Pretty sick, eh? Oh, you mean sick like cool or sick like... Forget it. So that means that anybody from like LA or Chicago can tune in and listen to our feeds? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You'll yeah. be taking something from <laughs> us, honey. You bet gonna, your ass is loaded. Yeah, just, I'm going to stake out with us. Just, we'll yeah. Stake out, stake us out. I wouldn't worry about it. Stupid, Cody. <laughs> Real stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> what else can you get on that thing? Uh, pretty much anything you want, like porn, CNN, the weather, porn, whatever. Hmm. So what'd you put in your report? Well, I put the truth. Why would you put it? The truth? 
as much as I know, anyway. Birdie, for example, I don't know where she's Bob. She, yeah, yeah, I got that. So what? She's a rookie. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I met her when I was in the evidence room. Uh, Collecting evidence. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what? What? How green are we talking about here? Like a year? Two years? Well, I'd say six or seven days. What? Well, hey, man, what the fuck happened to your mole? My mole has... Whoa, wait, that has nothing to do with any of the... <laughs> Residents on the east side experienced a rude awakening Monday morning when a triad drug raid took a turn for the worst. Officers John Faraday and Laszlo Hartigan were both involved in the operation gone wrong. Exact details of the sting are unclear at this time. Fuck! Officials say that the raid was not sanctioned by the department. Oh, come on! However, sources say that the chief of police's daughter was directly involved with the takedown of the vicious gang. Neither the mayor or Chief Rosenberg have released a statement at this time. Hey, partner? Yeah? The chief's got a daughter? Well, Laszlo, it would certainly appear so. Chief, look, I just want to start by saying that... Shh. Shh. I'm learning karate. Did you know that? Uh, oh, no, no, sir. sir. It's almost impossible to stay ahead of these bastards, these triads. You bring a knife to a fight, they bring a pistol. You bring a pistol, they bring a machine gun. You bring a machine gun... They bring a bazooka. Chief, I totally know where you're going with this. I agree. <laughs> Nothing has passed you, does it, Laszlo, my boy? Point is, I can't keep trying to one-up these assholes, or we'll all end up blowing the city to high heaven. That's why I'm learning karate. If you can't protect yourself, your home, and your family, who the heck can you protect? Huh? Well, uh, I don't know, sir. I understand you took my daughter along with you in this little experiment. Uh, well, sir, uh, as you know, the Triad Gangs have had a hold on this city for some time, and we felt it was time to, to take action. So the two of you decided to take on the most feared and renowned gang this side of the western seaboard. Actually, with the help of my daughter, Bertie, whose speciality is forensics and casework, as opposed to stakeouts and gunfights. Well, sir, actually, she handles herself exceptionally well. I should hope so. I taught her everything she knows. That being said, when Bertie graduated from the police academy last week, I gave her an office in the basement of this precinct, just so this kind of thing wouldn't happen. Now I've got a house full of dead guys, no evidence, and the media is having a field day wondering how this could have gone on right under my nose. You guys are a, a couple of loose cannons. I hate this shit. Hardigan, you're way too cocky and not too bright, so I'd expect something like this from you. But you, Faraday. Sir, I don't know what to say. Well, then answer me this. Can either of you guys say something that would convince me not to take you off the case? Well, sir. Shut up, Hardigan or I'll crack your head open with my karate chop action. Well, sir, during the uh, incident, we came to learn of a new party that may not only be involved, but may be systematically taking the triads down one at a time. I think he's making a coup for the city. Well, then, it sounds like you guys got some competition. Who is this mystery man? Uh, well, uh, his name is Santos, sir. Santos? Yeah, Chief. Santos? Yeah. Okay, I hope you have some evidence to support this theory. Absolutely, we got this asshole on tape. Really? I've reviewed that tape, and all I can hear is my daughter getting shot at at some Chinese tea party. Actually, sir, I, I think they were playing poker. 
how's this? You take two weeks vacation, I'm going to give the case to Kowalski and Selinsky. Chief, come on, those guys, those guys are dicks. Maybe so, but they're dicks who know how to get the job done. Santos, Santos, you gotta be kidding me. There is no Santos. And why the hell do you two guys have the same fucking mustache? Sir, what about Bertie? Bertie? If either of you even think her name, I'll end you. Now get the fuck out of this office. <sighs> well, I thought that went pretty well. Hardigan? You say one more word, I'm gonna Oh, please, man. If it wasn't for you and that whore, we wouldn't even be in this mess. Don't call her that, man. Oh. I'm serious, Laszlo. It's okay. It's okay. Man, we were done, okay? We're beat. So let's just go home, we'll smoke that evidence we confiscated from those kids, all right? And we'll watch episodes of Sequest, okay? Okay? I like Sequest. I know you do, okay? Forget about the hole. That's it. You just hit me. Well, I wasn't kissing you goodbye. Oh, God, man, this is all your fault, man. My fault? What the hell happened to your mole? The guy was supposed to help us out in the first place. He had a heart attack. What do you want from me? I don't want you to shut up. Oh, the fuck? What the hell is that? Is that your phone again? Yeah, here's your phone. Oh. <laughs> You're not so tough now, eh? What is that? What? It's a bomb. We got five seconds to get the hell out of here. Ah, uh, no, you don't. Not until you apologize. Apologize? Apologize for what? You tell me. All right, fine. I'm sorry for being an asshole. And? And, and, uh, I'm sorry for everything. I'm sorry for messing this up. I'm sorry for dragging Bertie into this because I'm in love with her. You're in love with Bertie? Yes, yes. Now get the fuck off me and run. Oh, oh shit. See how this day can get any worse. Remember when I I bored your wallet this morning? No. I think I left it in the car. <laughs> <laughs> 